Hello, my name is Donald Spini. On behalf of my teammates, Tracy Velasquez, Jonathan Phillips, and Santos Estrada, I would like to welcome you to the Household Emergency Logistics Planner, or HELP for short. My contributions to the development of the website were concept, design, content, Mapbox API integration, front-end development, styling, and functionality. HELP is a full-stack, lightweight, mobile-responsive web application designed to function almost anywhere, even in low bandwidth areas. Whenever an emergency arises, from a simple pipe burst to a national emergency, every household should be prepared for at least the first 72 hours after an event. The need to store essential items and develop emergency response plans can be an uncomfortable subject for some households to discuss. Help is designed to fulfill a need for a kinder, gentler approach to emergency preparedness. Help provides peace of mind in uncertain times. On the Help homepage, visitors can see general information about the application. Here is where they learn about the steps to creating emergency plans. Help provides its members the ability to create their group, invite members to their group, create emergency checklists, and have custom plans ready to go. These features give the household the ability to organize, communicate, and share information in real time from home or on the road. I will now pass it off to my teammates to guide you through the features logged on users can access on the HELP website. Santos, over to you. Thank you, Donald. Hello, my name is Santos Estrada. I work in contributions to our application for front-end development, styling, database design, and assisting with the navigation bar and registration page. I will be showing how a user would go about registering as a head of household. For the sake of this demonstration, I have already created an account that I can log into. We will start by entering our username and our password and logging in. While logged in as the head of household, I can see my profile. I can create a group. That's our group name. I will enter our cohort name, Hyperion, and our meetup spot as the Tower of the Americas. I can also invite new members to join my group, which will trigger an email invitation prompt and a confirmation pop-up confirming an invitation was sent. If I ever need to update my group name or meetup spot, I have the option to using the edit your group button. I can also upload sentimental items and important documents to our groups plan, which Jonathan will later demonstrate. Once I have invited members to join my group, I can send messages to them on the messages page. I can send a test message to make sure the other members in my group can see them. I will now pass it over to a member that I have invited to join my emergency preparedness group, Tracy. Thank you, Santos. My name is Tracy Velasquez, and I worked on wireframing, database design, front end design, user registration, the plan page, and messaging functionality. Today, I'll be showing how an invited member can register to join their group. Once a user receives an invite from the group admin, they can register on the group's unique registration page. Here I am registering to join the Hyperion group that Santos created and invited me to. After I've registered, I can log in and view details like my role in the group, my contact info, and a link to my group's plan. I'll also have access to group info such as my group's name, my group's emergency meetup spot, and my group members as well as their contact info. As a group member, I will not have permission set to be able to add new members or edit the group name or meetup details. I will, however, be able to add sentimental items and add links to important documents that can be viewed on our shared page. I'll also be able to send messages to my group. Logged in members can see the group's message history and begin to reply back to other members in the group. And now on to Jonathan to show the group's shared plan page. Thank you, Tracy. My name is Jonathan Phillips and I worked on the database design, the user registration, the messaging, and the sentimental items checklist in the document URL on the plan page. I'll be showing how as a group member, I can see the group's shared plan page. We will want to see the plan for a meetup spot in case of an emergency. The map has Tower of the Americas already set as the destination. This was set while creating the group. 
We can also view and set a sentimental items checklist with the location that they are stored at. And we can see and add URLs to documents shared between the group. Once the lists are filled out, I can print the page as a reference. As an added bonus, we have included a link to the standard 72-hour checklist. The checklist page is full of useful information for the household. Throughout the checklist, the household can check off just about everything they need to be prepared for whatever event may come. The helpful tips contain links to additional information. Once you have filled out the checklist, it can be printed and kept with emergency supplies for reference. That completes the demonstration of the help website. If you'd like to have some developers to help your team, be sure to check out our team page. On behalf of the help team, Tracy Velasquez, Donald Spini, Santos Estrada, and myself, Jonathan Phillips, I would like to thank you all for allowing us to help.